Hello, pain stream people. Day after Thanksgiving. Had a nice Thanksgiving. Went out with family. Watched a movie um, about Mr. Rogers. It was so good. Tom Hanks was Mr. Rogers. Really good. And then um, Greg cooked for me. And I had a really nice dinner with him. It was very, very sweet and very special. And then today, I went to the yoga studio because someone needed me to fill in. So I did that. <clears throat> Sorry. And here I am, ready to talk to you. I did not do yoga. Um, I just clean, clean, clean. I'll do yoga tomorrow, a couple classes. Finish my 20 and 30, so I'll get a t shirt, I think. I don't know. But um, it's all good. Happy days. It might snow this weekend. I don't like that, but we'll see. You know, that's the way the world turns. So let's go. We have a lot of quotes today. Well, three. We'll see what they say. It will greatly comfort you if you can see God's hand in both your losses and your crosses. Hmm. Charles Hayden Spurgeon, S-P-U-R-G-E-O-N. Maybe it's Haddon, H-A-D-D-O-N. <clears throat> yeah, it will. It will greatly comfort you. It doesn't say you will be technically accurate and right if you can see God's hand in both your losses and your crosses. It doesn't say that. Because that's not... That's... Who cares about that? doesn't matter. It will greatly comfort you if you can see God's hand in both your losses and your crosses. Yes. Means, I think it means, I interpret this to mean that when you're going through a difficult time, you will find comfort if you look at the things in your crisis situation where you may be able to find positive results. When you're deep in it, you may not see that. But as time goes on, you'll probably hopefully see that. And the more you do, the more comforting that will be. And then you could be like me. Crazy Aunt Stacy. We're glaring her head around. <coughs> um, but I don't, you know, I think that's pretty good. I feel pretty good. I'm happy. And I don't say like, I feel pretty good, be like me, look at me, oh look at me. No, I'm saying like, I feel really good. I feel happy. And um, it's not, my circumstances aren't great right now. I mean, I have a, a great new relationship and that is great. But I only had that, I only have that because I was able to um, be happy even though everything else in my life, aside from that, was um, seemingly going terribly, right? If I was stuck in my muck, who would want to come anywhere near me? No one, no one. Uh, maybe people who would take advantage of me or use me for other purposes than to share their life and hopes and joys and fears and all that good stuff with. Um, <clears throat> you know, and I say it because I, um, didn't always feel this way. So I know the contrast. I know what it feels like to not feel good. I know what it feels like to want to not be on this planet. I know that feeling. That's a really hard feeling. That's a really hopeless feeling. But you can, you can change that. That I know, because I've done it. It's not easy, it takes time, but you can. And I think the first step is believing that you can. Can't make you believe that. Uh, that's up to you. Next, God is good. He is a refuge in the times of trouble. 
He does care for us, but we must trust him. We must replace fear with faith and self-pity with God. Focus trust. Robert J. Morgan. <clears throat> so, you know, if you don't believe in God, this might be a hard one to swallow. But, you know, you um, replace whatever you want to replace the word God with. The point is, you need to replace fear with faith and self-pity with trust. You got to believe it to achieve it. Fake it till you make it. But your goal should be to get rid of the fear, minimize the fear, reduce the fear, focus on faith, have faith and trust things are going to get better. Um, similar to the first quote, I think. Here's a long one. <coughs> Sorry. It's annoying for me too, but trust me. <coughs> Although things are not perfect because of trials and pain, continue on. Oh, this is appropriate. Continue on Thanksgiving. Do not begin to blame, even when the times are hard. Fierce winds are bound to blow. God is forever able to hold on to what you know. Imagine life without his love. Joy would cease to be. Keep thanking him for all the things love imparts to thee. Move out of camp complaining. No weapon that is known on earth can yield the power Praise can do alone. Quit looking at the future. Redeem the time at hand. Start every day with worship. To thank is a command. It's a command. Until we see him coming, victorious in the sky, we'll run the race with gratitude, exalting God most high. Yes, there'll be good times, and yes, some will be bad, but Zion waits in glory where no one is ever sad. That was anonymous. Anonymous. <clears throat> so, I mean, there's a lot in there. It's pretty straightforward. I'll repeat it again just so you can hear it because now after like halfway through, I was like, oh wait, this is like a poem that rhymes. So, uh, maybe I'll read it better the second time around. Hmm. Although things are not perfect because of trials and pain, continue on Thanksgiving, do not begin to blame. Even when the times are hard, fierce winds are bound to blow, God is forever able, hold on to what you know. Imagine life without his love, joy would cease to be. Keep thanking him for all the things love imparts to thee. Move out of camp complaining, no weapon that is known on earth can yield the power praise can do alone. Quit looking at the future, redeem the time at hand, start every day with worship. To thank is a command. Until we see him coming, victorious in the sky, we'll run the race with gratitude, exalting God most high. Yes, there'll be good times, and yes, there will be bad, but Zion waits in glory where no one is ever sad. No one's ever sad. Whether you believe it or not, it would feel better to believe it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I keep saying the same thing every day. But why do I say the same thing every day? Because you need to hear it every day, right? You need to hear these messages every day over and over and over again until they're embedded in your brain right? Embed it in your brain and you start to change your vibration. Pain, pain, boom, pain. And look, we're only up to here. It's hard to see, but it's, yeah, right. Not even halfway, not even close. I don't even think it's a quarter. Did I stop writing? No. It says the same thing over and over again with different words. 
Did I stop writing them down? No. Nope, 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 nope. Because they don't sink in. Once is not enough. You gotta keep going, keep going, keep going until you get where you wanna be. You get where you need to be. Because it takes a lot. And maybe one quote doesn't speak to you, but another one will. Maybe one quote um, that you like doesn't speak to other people. And maybe they need a different one. <clears throat> there is no new story on the face of this earth. You're special. We're all special. But it's nothing new. Same story, different words. Anyway, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Peace out.